Next up, is the physics of a fall onto water really the same as pavement? Okay, so we've got a good one. In this episode, we're testing that water is as hard as pavement. Yeah, I've heard this one. The idea is that if you fall from a height tall enough and you get up enough speed, when you hit that water, it behaves just like pavement. So, to give the myth the best chance of working, the team will be comparing a 600 feet fall onto pavement and water. Come on, let's go! Get to the chopper! But how exactly will they compare the two? Oh, we can't use a human because obviously that's going to kill somebody. So, we decided to go with the pig. To collect comparative data, we're going to x-ray the pigs. Then we're going to have an orthopedic surgeon analyze those x-rays, see how many bones are broken, and what kind of damage happened when it hit the pavement. And we'll find out if water is as hard as pavement. And what I had for lunch. Okay, here we go. Operation Pork Drop onto pavement in three, two, one. Pig is flying. Well, he's more falling. Despite a terminal velocity of 120 miles per hour and an incredible estimated G-load of 5,000 plus, the bag remained intact and Operation Pork Drop was a success. Now, dropping a pig out of a helicopter seems pretty straightforward. That is, unless you have an uncooperative pig. But once I got him out of the helicopter, the drag chute opened up, he got into the belly flop position, and most importantly, he was traveling at terminal velocity. And the best part is, we hit the pavement. This was a perfect test. Pork drop number two on the water at terminal velocity. There it goes. Okay, stabilizing sheet deployed, deployed. Looking good, looking good. Belly flop, belly flop, Splashed out. And once again, the stabilizing chute worked, serving up the perfect pork belly flop. How did our pig do on pavement? Well, the pig on the pavement did really disastrously. 17 fractures. Wow. Here's a femur fracture, fracture dislocation of the spine, and to top it all off, a decapitation. Oh! You got a dislocated head. It's an unsurprising litany of lethal injuries, 17 clear and catastrophic fractures. But the key to this myth is the comparison. All right, so. How did it compare to the water drop? The water drop pig did much better, although it's still seven fractures compared to 17. Six rib fractures and also a neck fracture, but not as bad as the decapitation. It couldn't be clearer. Two pigs of identical weight falling at the same speed, landing in the same orientation, have significantly varied injury diagnoses. Both the quantity and quality of the bone breaks means there can only be one result. But that's not the only reason Carrie's so happy. Now, having the clear-cut results that the pig landing on the pavement, bam, was actually a lot harder than falling on water was great. But was even better, those bags didn't bust open and I didn't throw up. It was busted. I think we're gonna have to call this one busted. How come we don't have a helicopter to fly home after every myth?